Welcome to Creative World. In this video, we will solve Chapter 2 Exercise Problem Number 2.15. While solving this problem, we will be using Kirchhoff's current law. According to this law, a cumulative current on any node inside an electrical network is always zero. Sum of all entering currents on a node is always equal to sum of all leaving currents from that node. We also will be using Ohm's law. According to Ohm's law, voltage across any resistance R inside an electrical network is always equal to the product of current through that resistance and the value of resistance. Current divider rule will also be utilized in this problem. Basic equations of currents I1 and I2 for this particular circuit using current divider rule is provided here. Now move towards the problem. Exercise problem number 2.15. Find the value of current IL in given below figure. This is the circuit diagram of given problem. We have to find the value of current IL through this branch inside this circuit. So without wasting time, let's proceed towards the solution. Now in order to calculate the value of current IL through this branch, we will simplify this circuit. On this node, 6 mA current of constant current source is entering while 3 mA current of constant current source is leaving. So these both constant current sources can be merged together to form a single constant current source which will have the effective value of current toward this node. In order to merge these two constant current sources, we will subtract lower current from higher current. In this case, higher current is 6 mA while the lower current is 3 mA. Subtract 3 mA from 6 mA, the result will be 3 mA. Direction of resultant current will follow the direction of higher current. In this case, resultant 3 mA current will enter to this node. Modify the circuit according to calculated resultant current. 3 mA current is pointing to this node and it is the resultant current of both current sources. Now we will merge these two current sources. Both have opposite polarities to each other. So the equivalent current source will have the value by subtracting 3 Ix from 3 mA. And the direction of equivalent current will be upward because 3 Ix is subtracted from 3 mA which is indicating that 3 Ix will be less than from 3 mA. Replace current sources with a single current source. Its value is 3 mA minus 3 Ix. Circuit is simplified now. This current source 3 mA minus 3 Ix is connected across three parallel connected resistances. In this circuit, we don't have the actual amount of constant current source because it contains a variable that is Ix. And the branch currents are also unknown. So first we will try to calculate the value of this branch current that is labeled as Ix so that we can calculate actual total supplied current. Later on we will calculate the value of Il. So in order to calculate the value of Ix we will merge these two resistances together because these two resistances are connected in parallel. So we will use equivalent resistance calculation formula for two parallel connected resistances that is R equivalent equal to R1 multiplied by R2 divided by R1 plus R2. In this case we will assume this is R1 and this is R2. Place the values inside this equation. Product of both resistances divided by their sum. Equivalent resistance for these two parallel connected resistances will be 2 kilo ohm. Now we can replace these two parallel resistances with a single resistance that have the value of 2 kilo ohm. The circuit is further simplified. We have a constant current source and two parallel resistances connected across this constant current source. So we can apply current divider rule on this circuit. Label the current of this branch as I. Apply current divider rule to calculate the value of I. Basic equation for the calculation of this branch current I using current divider rule will be I equal to R1 divided by R1 plus R2 multiplied by total current. In this case, 
टोटल करंट इज थ्री मिली एम्पेयर माइनस थ्री आई एक्स आर वन इज टू किलो ओम एंड आर टू इज टू किलो ओम बोथ रेजिस्टेंस इज आर सेम नाउ एंटर द वैल्यूज इन साइड दिस इक्वेशन टू किलो ओम डिवाइडेड बाई टू किलो ओम प्लस टू किलो ओम मल्टीप्लाई बाई टोटल करंट डेट इज थ्री मिली एम्पेयर माइनस थ्री आई एक्स ओपन द ब्रैकेट्स एंड सॉल्व द इक्वेशन थ्री मिली एम्पेयर विल मल्टीप्लाई विद टू किलो ओम एंड इट विल बिकम सिक्स वोल्ट माइनस टू किलो ओम विल मल्टीप्लाई विद थ्री आई एक्स एंड इट विल बिकम सिक्स किलो आई एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई द सम ऑफ दीज टू रेजिस्टेंसिस डेट विल बिकम फोर किलो नाउ अप्लाई किच ऑफ स्क्रंट ला ऑन दिस नोड बेसिक क्वेश्चन ऑफ किच ऑफ स्क्रंट ला इज समिशन ऑफ आल एंट्रिंग करंट माइनस समिशन ऑफ आल लिविंग करंट्स विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो ऑन दिस नोड ओनली वन करंट इज एंट्रिंग डेट इज थ्री मिली एम्पेयर माइनस थ्री आई एक्स वाइल अदर टू करंट्स आर लिविंग एंट्रिंग करंट इज थ्री मिली एम्पेयर माइनस थ्री आई एक्स वाइल लिविंग करंट्स आर आई एंड आई एक्स The value of I is six minus six kilo I x divided by four k. Open the brackets and multiply minus with both values. Both values will become negative. Now inside this equation, we only have one variable that is I x, and it is our required parameter to calculate. So we will solve this equation to calculate the value of I x. Multiply on both sides with four k. The equation will become. The product of 4k and 3 milli ampere will be 12 minus 4k will multiply with 3 ix and it will become minus 12k ix. This 4k will cancel out with the product of 4k and only numerator value will left 6 minus 6k ix. Ix will also multiply with 4k and it will become 4k ix. Now open these brackets. This minus will multiply both values. Six will become minus six, and six k i x will become positive six k i x. Inside this equation, separate variables and constants from each other. Subtract six from twelve and add all these variables together. It will become six minus ten k i x. Now place this minus 10k ix on the other hand side of equal to make it positive. Divide on both sides with 10k to calculate the value of ix that is 0.6 milli ampere. Now we have calculated the value of ix, so we will go a step back to the previous circuit where three resistances are connected in parallel. In this circuit we have the value of ix, so we can calculate voltage across this resistance. that will be the product of current and the value of resistance 0.6 milli ampere multiplied by 2 kilo ohm and it will become 1.2 volt so 1.2 volt will be appearing across this 2 kilo ohm resistance with these polarities current entering terminal will be positive and current leaving terminal will be negative because of parallel connection same voltage will be appearing across this 3 kilo ohm resistance Now we can calculate its current because voltage across this resistance is known. Value of resistance is also given, so we can calculate the value of current I L using Ohm's law. I equal to V divided by R. Solve it to calculate the value of I L that is 0.4 milli ampere. So this was chapter two exercise problem number 2.15. Thank you. See you again in next video.